So there's another sign that you should actually note, okay? So that you know the sign, so that uh, when you are doing a physical examination of where this sign is applicable, you can be able to actually know, right? And this sign is known as the blue mass shave sign, okay? Blue mass shave sign. Sorry, it has having just one M, okay? Blue mass shave sign. So let's define it. And let's talk about how we can be able to elicit the sign and talk about what if you have a positive blue mass shelf sign what does it indicate okay so, so that the blue mass shelf sign is actually a clinical sign that indicates the presence of a pelvic abscess or you could say a collection of pores in the pelvis okay so um it is defined as a tender palpable mass in the retrovesical pouch, okay? Retrovesical pouch is basically what well, from our anatomy days, the retrovesical pouch is the space between the rectum and the bladder, okay? So do I have a good image here, all right? So basically, um, you're having, um, if, can you see this, this space right here, okay? Retrovesical. Vesical means bladder, retro means behind. So the space behind the bladder, right? If there's an abscess here, okay? If there's an abscess here, um, then you can basically what? Try to, when you do this, when you elicit this sign, you can be able to know, all right? Let's, let's keep talking. Uh, we said that uh, basically it is felt through the rectal wall during a digital rectal examination. So that tells you that if you want to elicit a blue mass shelf sign, you must actually do a DRE, that's a digital rectal examination, and you can be able to feel if there's abscess there, okay? How to elicit the blue mass shelf sign? We said that the healthcare provider will typically perform a digital rectal examination. Uh, basically, you insert a glued finger into the rectum you palpate the retrovesical pouch, all right? If it is behind the bladder, then that means it is in front of the rectum, okay? So basically, the um, as you are doing this, you are looking at the patient, okay? So that you can check out for tenderness and a palpable mass. The palpable mass, you do it yourself. The tenderness, you feel it, but you are looking at the patient because if they are showing any signs of pain, because some patients, they have a high pain threshold that they won't scream. And if you're not looking at their face, you won't know the discomfort, all right? So talking about a positive blue mass shelf, we said that the positive blue mass shelf is indicated by what? If you find it positive, that means there's tenderness and there's a palpable mass in the retrovesical pouch, okay? There's also pain and discomfort during the examination, all right? So you do it, look the patient, are they complaining? Or some patient might just chin up, right? That's why I say you look at them to see if there's some facial expression so blue mass shelf sign is usual is a useful sign in diagnosing pelvic abscesses or collection such as those that may occur in appendicitis diverticulitis and other inflammatory conditions right however it should be considered in conjunction with other clinical findings so when you do this it's just like what one step to it you can go on to do laboratory results imaging studies to confirm the your diagnosis okay that's it about the blue mass chef sign. Uh, blue mass chef sign for what? Um, diagnosing pelvic abscess or collection of pus in the cul de sac, right?